it's Dustin again with my home kit home and in this video I'm particularly excited because we're starting our series on automations so first what we'll do is we'll take a look at the different types of automations that we can do with home kit and we can also start to look at some of the automations that I actually use for this particular video today we'll be looking at the location based when people arrive automation so I'm excited I hope you are too let's get started so if you're not familiar with it, here is the home app from the home tab. The tabs are along the bottom. We have home, obviously. We have rooms, and then we have automations. So we'll tap on the automations tab on the bottom. Now, if you're not familiar with this, you won't have any automations, but this is where they're stored and where you can edit them. So we'll tap on the plus button on the top right. Today, we're focusing on the people arrive automation. So we'll tap that. So I think it's good at this point if we take a look at what an automation is actually made of. So it's made of conditions which give you the who and the where and the why. Then we have our actions, which is the what. What happens when those conditions are met? So in HomeKit, the first part of the automation setup process is our people. Who is included in this automation? So it can be anyone arriving to the location. It can be a specific person arriving to that location, or it can be the first person arriving to that location. Now, a bit of a side note, and as we all know, Apple's pretty big on privacy. But if you are trying to set up an automation that is at a location other than the home, you'll need to make sure that you set up that automation on the person's device that is included in that automation. Apple just wants to make sure that nobody's being stalked and things are being controlled based on their movements without their knowledge at least. So for now, I guess we'll just choose anyone arrives. Now we can use locations other than the home as our location base for arrival. If you do use an alternate location by dragging the blue dot either inward or outward, we can adjust the geo fence so that it's maybe a bit further, a bit further, uh, closer than you would like. But we can't do it with the home for some reason. Not quite sure why, but those are our restrictions. And as you can see, because my wife is included in the automation, I'm not allowed to do it at an alternate location that's not the home. There you go. Yeah, so for the sake of this automation, we'll go ahead and just choose our home. And as we can see now, we have our time condition. So we can set this at during the day. And then we can also actually choose whether or not we want this 15, 30, 45, an hour before or after sunrise or sunset, which can be pretty nice when we're talking about lights and things like that. We can do the same thing for nighttime, so before and after sunrise and sunset, 15 minute increments from 15 minutes up until one hour. You can also set specific times during the day. That's pretty self-explanatory, I think. But we'll go ahead and choose any time, so this will be, well, any time, 24 hours a day. And we'll tap next at the top right, and then this is where we get into our actions. We can choose a scene that we've already set up, or we can choose an accessory. But if we choose our breathe easy scene, then it really makes it easy. We can go through and hit done. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. We'll set up some lights to turn on when anyone arrives at any time of day at home. And what we'll do is we'll go through. We've got our pretty standard actions that we can do here. We can change the color of the lights, the brightness, etc., etc. So I'm going to go ahead and change all of these. But one thing I don't want to happen is I don't want the overhead light to turn on and I don't want the TV light to turn on. So I'll just toggle those off. We can also set the automation to turn off entirely after one, two, three, four, five minutes, and then 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45, 60 minutes. We can also test the automation if we'd like. However, all it's going to do is run the scene or yeah, turn on or off the accessories that you identified there. So the only real way to test a location-based automation is for you to go outside that 
geofence come in, check and see if the accessories are running the way you want them to. But you'll have to complete the automation in order to do this, which is no big deal because you can go back in at any time and make all the micro adjustments that you want. So we'll tap down on the top right, and once we do that, we'll notice that our automation is now in our list. So by tapping on it, we can actually go back into the settings and make all those micro adjustments that I talked about earlier. Now one of the interesting things about the automations is that we can actually combine a scene and individual accessories at the same time and have those run simultaneously as well. So from this screen, we can adjust which accessories are included, we can adjust that time off feature, or we can simply delete the automation entirely. So I didn't show it here, but from our list of automations, if you drag to the left, you can actually delete the automation that way as well. I'm not the hugest fan of this because we don't have that extra prompt to you know, make sure that we want to do it, but that's one way that you can do it if you need to do it quickly. So as you can see, these automations are really useful. I really enjoy that when I come home, the lights in my studio are already on because that's usually where I go when I come home. My wife, she really enjoys that the diffuser is already on when she walks through the door, so the bedroom smells quite nice. We also both like that we can have the lights in the front of the house turn on at night just for a little bit of added security. So I really like those sorts of things. How do you use a people drive location-based automations in your home kit setup? Leave them down in the comments down below. If you have any questions, you can also leave them there as well. You can find us on social media at My Home Kit Home. You can also check out our blog at MyHomeKitHome.com. Well, that about does it for this video. Until next time, this has been Dustin with My Home Kit Home.